Hey guys, and welcome to another episode of Dive Wolf 20's 1.16 FTB pack, where today we're going to be upgrading our power reactor and uh, working on some oil quadrupling. Alright, so just crafted these gas upgrades, which were recommended to me, and I didn't actually realize these were a thing. Um, apparently, also the energy efficiency upgrades don't actually make a difference on these guys. So I think in between episodes, I might have whipped up another one. Um, so he's using 640 RF attack with 8 energy upgrades, we take one out, he's still using 640 energy attack. Ah, it makes him hold more power though, but it doesn't actually make him use any less. Okay, well I mean I guess I don't need them for anything else so we'll, we'll put them back in there for now. Cool. Um, but apparently these gas upgrades increase the efficiency of gas using machinery. So I wonder if we can have eight. So let's put one in. And it looks like he's going a little bit faster. Let's put another three in so we get end up with half the gas upgrades. Getting getting some more movement. Let's just chuck them all in. So with full gas upgrades, he's doing okay. Uh, it's obviously still, it's doing one slot at full speed and the other slot not as much. I do wonder if upgrading this purifying factory to the next tier would make him more efficient or make him use more gas. Um, these guys are fine because they're just using the power. And our power situation is we're losing power. Now I have considered just going straight to the emerald or spirited tier reactor. Um, I was mentioned in the comments but I might actually just make the next one up because I should have the stuff. I made a bunch of well, some energized steel and you know these uh, reactors are so easy to make. I might have a go at these because they just use this. And this should be pretty easy. And it might be just a nice a nice bridge or a nice temporary thing uh, before we, we have the stuff for uh, making the crystals for the emerald stuff. Because it's pretty slow with the current tier of rods we've got. But if we wanted to make these reactor blocks, let's make 36 of them. Nice, we got all the stuff. This should make over double the amount of power. It's actually going to be really nice if that's how that works. Um, I'm just going to get rid of this reactor because uh, yeah. the the uh, starter one is pretty bad in comparison. And hopefully our refined storage importer, uh, exporter, still works the same. Nice, we're making 3,000 because we need a bucket of water. Making 11,000 and it's going up. It's going up because we've got to wait for this temperature. Or it goes up when the temperature goes down. Maybe when the temperature goes down. So you're still making 6,000. You're making 12,000. And we'll put auto mode on. Sweet. Well, I wouldn't mind getting to the next tier of reactor. Um, I mean we don't super super need to right now, um, and we might even skip a tier, because after this hardened one is this blazing one, and I'm pretty sure that's just like blaze rods, um, but we've got I think enough emeralds that we can skip to the spirited one. But we definitely need the better rods because those ones are just way too slow. So if we don't type it in there, went for these hardened rods, and let's just we might as well grab these ones. We're not gonna use them again. And if we wanted to craft. 
six of these, not 64, six. Uh, it's going to not recognize these rods because they've got energy in them. Okay, so. So this guy was really slow. Um, he should be better. With, oh, I only grabbed one of those rods. This should be better. I mean, yeah, just that one. Oh, it's not as fast as the other ones. And we're draining, it's only draining 720 arrow for tech. And, oh, that's still kind of slow. Oh, we're out of clay. Well, that's an issue. Well, this might be a good time. Uh, we might end up setting that starter reactor back up. Uh, this might be a good time to upgrade my void ore miners then, since we've got a bit of power now. Um, Yeah, so this is generating 13,000, this guy can generate 6,000, that should be enough. Uh, so how many of these crystals do I have? 53, I think that's enough to upgrade another one to tier 2. Actually getting close to Chironite actually. I might upgrade... Actually, let's see what sort of stuff we're going to get. From, so you're my crystal one, you are a crystal one. What if instead of a crystal miner, you became a resource miner? Because then I think we'd get clay blocks. We're going to get a bunch of other junk as well. It uses way less power. That's oh, going to be really slow as well, isn't it? All right, I'm going to upgrade this ore guy to tier two. Um, we just got like sand or something. And I'll go mine some clay and then, uh, yeah, we'll carry on with the episode. All right, so upgraded the middle one uh, to a tier two and turn him back into a crystal miner um, because we ran out of crystals for upgrading this guy. But yeah, should be faster at this time. Now, have been working on the power upgrades as well and I found a pretty easy way to automate this. You can see them running here. Now there were a couple of people suggesting different ways you can do it. Um, you can either do it with Xnet, which I never touched so I thought I wouldn't do that. And apparently you can also do it with uh, vanilla redstone mechanics as well. But we use this logistical sorter, which we've already made these because they were a component in the digital miner. Um, you can set these to single mode and set them to redstone detection normal so they'll only work when they've got redstone. And then I've just got this timer from RF Tools and I just set the delay to slightly longer than it takes to process one of these. Um, and we got a bunch. These guys are pretty cool uh, using these energizing rods. And I might actually upgrade these to the next tier. Um, get rid of all this stuff just because it's going to be even faster so using six here so if six of these we're going to need 12 spirited capacitors which if i teach the recipe if i haven't already nope uh, because i won't i don't want to teach it this recipe because it never picks up these even if they're empty um, so it just makes brand new ones all the time which is a little bit annoying but if we teach it this recipe Right. Okay, come over, grab our spirited crystals. We know we need 12 of these. 
And got all the stuff. And then we also need 12 blocks of quartz. Ah, which uh, we've got plenty of. Now we need six of these casings. And yeah, this, uh, can we turn this guy off? Let's just take stuff out of there. Let him finish that one. Grab these six. And we'll just manually put these in here because it, it doesn't pick them up. Like even if I put this in here. Okay, it does if you do it that way. But the auto crafting doesn't. But hey, that's a, a workaround for the auto crafting. Just because it does get a bit expensive if you're making a brand new lot uh, each time you're upgrading tiers. And hopefully these are pretty fast. Now we don't have the nether stars for the next tier, but that should be fine. So how fast is this guy now? Just missed the timer. I imagine it'd be about half as or twice as fast. Not quite. So we don't want to make this one 50. Uh, what if we tried in there? Uh, so not 150, but 160. So that's a little bit close. I think 165, just in case anything happens. I want a little bit of breathing room. And yeah. How many spirited crystals do we have now? 18. Alright, and if I taught it how to make the spirited tier reactor, because I want to skip this uh, niotic one, because it uses heaps of diamonds, which we don't have heaps of. Um, and we don't need the previous tier to make these things. So if we taught it this recipe. We could then find out how far away we are from getting 36 of these. Neat. Oh, one blaze powder. And we're missing 126 spirited crystals. So that shouldn't be a problem. 126 or 156? I think it was 126. So that's 128 of them. That's most of our emeralds. Um, and blaze powder. I could teach the recipe. I may as well. Like, just the crafting one. We won't bother doing the uh, pulverizing one. We've got essentially unlimited blaze rods. Unless we start using them faster than how our mob farm makes them. But we've got 1100, so I don't think that's going to be an issue. So we'll check these guys down here. And yeah, once they're finished, we'll have the stuff. Oh, it's still a little close. Um, oh, that was better. Let's make them 170. Just so, because there could be a slight delay somewhere, like maybe it places it, and this takes a little longer to start charging, and then this takes a little bit longer to start pulling it out, and then we end up with two in there, and then the whole thing stops. But yeah, that will eventually get us the stuff we need, and then we can uh, probably get rid of this basic basic reactor and uh, yeah end up with the the next one but while we leave all that running these guys now he seemed to be okay I don't really have any ore that I can test him with because I'm pretty sure zinc didn't work right no zinc we can't do 
kind of need just a little bit of ore. Uh, just to stress test them again. And hey, it's probably time to move the digital miner as well. I imagine he's stopped. Yeah, he's mined everything. He's going to get us a bunch of stuff. And then I'll just go mine a bit manually. Um, just so we can dump a bunch of ores into our system. See what that ore tripling's doing. And then I guess it's probably a good idea. Or maybe not a good idea. But I think it would be probably time to move to quadrupling and we might even go to quintupling and just get that over and done with um, and then we're going to have yeah a ridiculous amount of the resources we can get through mechanism but I'll just do a bit of mining and get some stuff all right back from mining and yeah it's going, going pretty good these guys seem to be keeping up looks like he's just caught up on a bunch of ore but if we start buffing some of the stuff in here now that we know he can process he's holding pretty steady um, this is full but we've got these buffers in these tanks right so he's going down so he's empty and he's empty and this guy's still full I suspect he's draining the pressurized tubes Uh, he's going pretty good to be fair and this is with oops, all the speed upgrades all the energy upgrades and all the gas upgrades yeah so he's let's upgrade our factories down the line to the next tier I think it's these upgrade cards, advanced tier installer. I mean, we probably want to do all the machines, right? Let's just do these three for now, because otherwise we're going to have the exact same problem. There's just going to be five slots per thing. Uh, I'm going to have to make another uh, gold crafter. Might make another right one, actually. We've probably got the stuff. Uh, yeah, maybe. Oh, I've got eight ancient debris possibly not but uh, we try and make these advanced tier installers we're missing six I never taught it those recipes and it looks like we're also out of the circuits Well, let's just manually uh, get a couple more of them going. And yeah, we can see he's almost caught up. Has he drained any of our oxygen? He still hasn't drained any. And it's actually going back up. Oh, because he's finished processing. But yeah, it looks pretty good. Like, that was a big blast of ores. And that's pretty unlikely to be happening for a while. Um, if we got our tier upgrades... Let's upgrade these guys. Uh, so you, oh, you and you. Now you can hold way more. You can process way more. That'll probably keep up with whatever, whatever this guy does. Nice. Right, so the next tier of mechanism for processing. So at the moment we're making clumps right yes we want to be making shards for that we're going to need hydrogen chloride and a chemical injection a basic injection factory is probably going to be the go um, so let's craft one of these guys we need some of these circuits which looks like shouldn't be too bad get a few of them now oh, I need some more of those reinforced alloys 
Uh, let's get 16 of them just in the system and it was this this guy and he doesn't need speed upgrades really I mean we could put these two on sure nice so basic injection factory oh, it's a purification chamber it needs an enrichment chamber it needs a steel casing injection chamber basic injecting factory and this guy will go here eventually um, but we need to sort out uh, what he uses so for processing he uses hydrogen chloride and yeah the crystals are going to be next but hydrogen chloride is hydrogen and chlorine hydrogen we're making so we've already got that and that's the other output of the uh, electrolyzer chlorine sodium and chlorine okay so we need to make hydrogen chloride we need chlorine and sodium ah no sodium and brine makes chlorine oh no uh, the electrolytic separator turns brine into sodium and chlorine so brine Ryan, we get from this guy, right? Thermal evaporation controller. Cool, and this is the big multi buck thing. That needs these. Let's see how hard this is to make. So, we need some of these. I don't even know if I'll set up a recipe for this. So, there's our controller. And we need a few of these blocks. Um, and let's see how big this guy is going to be. I, I know he needs power. I mean, I'd kind of like to see this machine. Um, what do we got behind the wall? Uh, and if I go too far up, now I can go as far up as I want to here. Well, eventually I'll be sticking out of the ground, but I don't know how big of a one of these guys we need. Um... I guess we'll do them that many. Oops, like a five by five one. And what else did he need? Can't remember. Is there a mechanism book or a guide? Uh, it doesn't look like it. Um, evaporation valve. So I think we need valves for inputting and outputting. So if we had a couple of them, we want to be inputting. I mean, probably we'll do it on this side. Uh, I don't know if we can go on the corners. Let's do that and that. And this might need to be covered, actually. But we need a bunch more of these. We're going to need a bunch more steel. Um, to the point. Uh, we need a bunch more of that. A bunch of them going. Because uh, this guy's got no speed upgrades. And I'll just manually... Um, put this back through because we never need to we never seem to need like heaps and heaps of steel but working with this stuff yeah maybe in the future and actually before I just leave that going how's this dude going oh hey he's finished so does that mean we could get We could. All right, let's make one of these reactors then. <laughs> now, I think this guy, from what I've read, he makes 50,000 arrow for tick, is what somebody was saying. Um, so we'll get rid of our basic reactor. Put down our spirited. Get a bucket of water ready.
He's making 55,000 arrow for tick. 54,000, 55,000. I suppose he's still cooling down a little bit. Fifty-eight thousand are for tick. Um, so these guys are not going to be able to keep up. Uh, let's let's put the flux plug just on there. Nice. Well, we shouldn't have power problems for a while. And oh, he finished doing the steel. Uh, so then it was what energized uh, something blend enriched iron and yeah, it looks like I made a bit of it and then we just buff this back through and this gets turned into steel and then we still need to smelt the steel unfortunately which I can do manually it's not a big deal uh, got it working. The main problem was uh, it can't be 5x5. Five 4x4 five. Four four is the biggest size and I think I think 15 high, which this isn't, but that's cool. So this guy's running and he's got a pretty low temperature. Now you can put solar panels on the top of them, but I don't want to do that. Um, we've got like plenty of power, so uh, and we still need to put these these things in. Uh, I guess I put them side by side. And yeah, the red sparkles mean that it mean that it worked. And we might want another one of those ports actually. Let's get another one up here. Uh, maybe on the other side actually. Maybe at the back. Because so I think the evaporation valve. That's just for fluids. I think we can use a heater. This resistive heater uh, should be easy enough to craft. So we get a resistive heater, and I don't know if he needs a valve. If we look at this guy, did his heat go up? Looks like his temperature did change. Now, gonna be lazy. Use a flex, flex plug, flex point rather. And so he's going to make a temperature. And it is heating this guy up. Now, the hotter this guy is, the faster he's going to produce the stuff we're after. But you can see he's only using 40 RF right, attack. Let's bump that up. It's got a thousand RF attack. You can see the temperature is rising quite a bit faster. Next we are going to want, I guess we'll just use a sink again. And you know what, I always need buckets of water for recipes. You are gonna go and I guess here, because we're going to want to do some more processing. Oh, in the wrong place to type. A mechanical pipe. I'm on some weird mode. And hopefully that's going to fill up fast enough. So he filled up with brine pretty quick. Um, how much do these transfer? I think we might actually want the next tier up of these. You know, hey, let's do it the smart way. Because we learned that that was a thing. If we grab one of these reinforced alloys. Hey, nice. And hopefully this is going to keep up. So we got all of this brine. Nice. We need sodium. So if we get an another electrolytic separator. 
so and this is going to get filled with water if i put it there so let's move this you're going to extract brine nice you're getting brine in the top you're producing sodium and chlorine Sodium. She's making liquid sodium. Sodium doesn't look like it's used for anything. So, oops, not dumping, dumping excess. Chlorine, we're going to be using with hydrogen and a chemical infuser to make hydrogen chloride. So let's get a. And wait, was that liquid? No, it's just chlorine, which is what we're making. So if we got a chemical infuser, you're going to live, I guess, hopefully we can output out the front of you. Let's find out. Uh, so output fluids, gases, we say nothing, items, nothing for a start, energy, whoops, energy was the back, nice. So at the front we want to can't eject. Gases output. Is this counted as a gas? And this is cyan. Output cyan, I guess. So if we did that, you've got chlorine. Um, then we need hydrogen. Which has to come from all the way over here. Because this is our hydrogen tank. Um, and we want to go down a couple. Um, just so it doesn't connect to that dude. And let's see if we can input gases. Input on the bottom. So that's red. So no, we want input orange. Which is this one. Then we need the gas pipe, which was pressurized tube. I think this should be enough. We might need more though. Not that. Um, and we want you to extract uh, and Output at the bottom. Nice. Awesome. And we're ending up with hydrogen chloride. And you're running out of power because you're not actually hooked up to the universal cable. Perfect. So you're getting chlorine. I think I accidentally turned your input off on the top. Um, side config, fluids, input. Um, and this hydrogen chloride is going to go in the next stage, which is this basic injecting factory. So we need to move the subsidian chest. I feel like that exporter is going to lose its memory. But the basic injecting factory is going to go here. It's going to be pretty tight actually to get the output of this guy. Because we don't really want to go underneath because then we'll get caught on that. We should be able to go beside um, with this pressurized tube. Darn. Uh, so that's not what I want. We disconnect that. Nice. And we disconnect that. It's going to do that again. It's a pain. 
need to make it so your output is not so that's the front let's make the output not the front and i think this is going to be an issue uh, in a bit but then we can make the left of this output eject oh hydrogen chloride might be a fluid do we got this mechanical pipe are you going to connect there don't seem to that's what you take right hydrogen chloride and it is a gas oh that's not the front we have the right output gases output there we go why are you not oh you did i just can't see it in the tube nice And you've got hydrogen chloride. Nice. And that'll be uh, more tripling. Assuming we've got some ores to process in there. We got some tin. Um, so if we put tin in here, that's cool noise. Ah, oh, you also don't have power either. Ah, oh, this is getting really, really messy. Um, all right, just to make sure that this works. I'm going to fix this. Just for now. Um, let's get rid of that injection chamber noise. So that's going to be our shards. Checked on. That goes here. That goes there. And our tin ends up... Uh, so now we need to upgrade our purifying factory with one of those tier installers. Nice. And yeah, that's going to be uh, the ore quadrupling. But obviously we've got a massive problem <laughs> with just the absolute mess that is happening back here. But I will sort that in between episodes and uh, we'll, we'll sort these speed upgrades like we still need speed and energy upgrades in this guy. And these guys, like they're going pretty slow. I'm pretty sure they won't keep up uh, once we actually start chucking a bunch of ore in here. But hey, I'll do that between episodes and then we'll come back and this will all be just perfect. Well guys, we've got ore quintupling. It's a little bit messy at the moment and I'd imagine uh, once we got the speed and upgrades and stuff in there, it'd actually be a little bit slow as well. But I'll get that working in between episodes. Should be pretty similar to what we did uh, kind of at the start, just putting the gas efficiency upgrades and the purifying machine um, and speed upgrades and the electrolyzers and the chemical infuser as well. And that should be cool. But hey, it's been Classic Duff. You've been watching the episode. Like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.